Hi, welcome back to Muddy Feet. This week's episode is a land-based session in the Cuddy Cuddy Peninsula with my good friend Nate. The target species for today is some big winter snapper, and I tell you what guys, this session does not disappoint. It's very early in the morning. Right, fishing time. Fishing's on. Sorry, Cuzzy, there was an accident too. You ever seen the size of my uncle, bro? the adventure begin. Bro, Nate busily rigging up all his giwas too. 100 pounder, bro. 100 pound? I'm Nothing going, less, bro. Nothing less. Oh, bro, I'm going 80. I feel inadequate now. Not here to buddy um, catch a car, bro. Well, that's true, bro. But you are. No, I no. guess with the 80 I am, eh? <laughs> Big ones to smoke me. I like to see that, bro. You got the premium hooks there. The BKKs all day. All right, starting to get a little bit of light now. So, Burley's pumping. We had a few good bites. I think it's time to deploy the little blue hand line. Right, there's a few kahis in the trail. We're going to see if I can pick one up. We need some fresh baits. Okay. Well, no, we mean little ones too, bro. There are plenty of good sized kahawai in the Burley Trail now and after a few initial missy tittles I start to find my rhythm and manage to secure a few good sized ones for bait. That's what we're after, fresh baits. Right, we'll try and get another couple before. Right, That one. It's a good bait that size. Now that was that was a big part of the plan for today. We only brought the bare minimum of bait just to get ourselves started. Now we've got some beautiful fresh kahawai. Real fishing begins. Now we've got some nice fresh baits. Fresh kahawai baits. Things that should get should get serious now. mucking around with the camera. Ooh. 
go. My first spread of the day. Coming by way of the fresh kahawai bait. Dynamite, I swear by the stuff. Right, stick with that same system. That beautiful kahawai bait. It's pretty overcast this morning and as you can see there's still a fair bit of swell working and we're fishing the incoming tide. These are all pretty perfect conditions for big snapper and sure enough, we're bad. It's still very early in the fishing session and I'm hooked up to an absolute donkey. Me and Nate can both tell that this fish is a very solid specimen. The fish makes a good initial run but after a bit of a scrap I managed to turn things around and drag this beautiful fish right to my feet. But that's when it happened. So what's happened here is I've decided to release this large snapper. I'm using a technique that has very, very little impact on the fish. In fact, it has so little impact on the fish that sometimes the fish doesn't even know it's been caught. So I have a quick look at this fish and wha-bam, he swims away nice and strong. Bugger, that was a huge fish. Go on, back to the depths. Bugger me. Oh. I make my way back down to the water's edge to check on my little blue hand line and I notice it's been pulled around in the rocks a bit. So I sort that out only to find it's connected to a decent fish. Nate secures this great sized fish for the table and eventually I decide to have a few more casts with the jig and catch another couple of kahawai to keep the bait supplies up. Sure enough, as soon as I look the other way, wa bam I'm hooked up to another absolute donkey of a fish. I just hope that this time I can get the job completed. Now what's happened here is because of the swell my hand line's actually washed up in the gut next to me here 
and while I'm trying to land this big fish on the rod, it's become tangled with the hand line. Now, if it wasn't for Nate being on hand and scrambling down the rocks to secure my fish, I surely would have lost this big fella too. Northland Penny. It's still early in the day, but we're only just getting started. What a fish! Absolute stonker. How good's that off the rocks? It's going to be about 14, eh? 14? Yeah, we've got yeah. Good six kilo fish, bro. Yeah. Only tappy 17. 14, 16, 17, somewhere around there. Absolute beauty. Right, we decided to retire the hand line for a little while. A little bit too much action to be fishing two things at once, so I'm gonna focus on the rod. Another nice big slam to cut away. Farm bake breakfast, breakfast of champions. Fresh mm. lollipops. That little jig from Catch is proving to be dynamite on the Kahawai. There really isn't enough that can be said for putting in the effort to catch your own fresh bait. Look how well it works. Like a good fish. Bro's hooked up. It's a goodie. It's a goodie. Camera's on 10%. Please don't die, camera. Hold on. Bro, that's a good fish, alright. Yep. Yeah, Zach, look at him coming up. Right, the video. Well, he popped off too. Oh, how good. I 
Oh yeah, there he is. Away he goes, bro. Yep, he's all right. Another beautiful penny. How's that? Farm bake rescue. Right. Battery changes are kind of stressful today because it's like 30 seconds where I can't be keeping an eye, I can't be filming or I sort of have to be away from my rod. But uh, it's been chaos. I just lost another massive fish. Didn't have the camera on, but it's all right. The tide's pumping in now. The reel's getting a bit of a bit of a wash. Oh, it's got smashed. Oh, yep. Man, the big bait's getting smashed. The snapper fishing goes a little bit quiet, so I decide to try and catch a few more kahawai for the smoker. This time though, I've decided I'm only going to use the hook from my little jig. Yeah. Nothing on there, just, uh, just a hook. Just a hook from a jig. Just the hook. To be fair, it's got a little bit of tinselly stuff on it, and I'd say the white, the white bit's doing the job really. Right, I'm gonna go chuck a fresh bait out on my out on my stray line rig. And that's about what I'm using now at this time of the day. I was using about half that earlier on, and I'm doing really, really well. But uh, now I'm just sort of chasing donkeys, so big baits on.
That'd be a mean place to camp out. Over there. Bro, that's cool, eh? Island it out. Yeah, island. Something small. They call if it is a gurnard, bro. The salad. Someone's got to catch the salad. Just packing up. Just getting ready for the walkout. Got our uh, tamuri is all loaded up, ready for carrying. Got rapé. Right. Locked and loaded. Hopefully it's a bit more comfy. It's a long heavy walk back, but that is so worth it. What an amazing experience and uh, I'm going to be able to feed a lot of people with all this fish. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Top shelf. Chaos Charters. He's got a very difficult bag to carry, I have to admit. I got lucky I got this nice thick piece of rope to put my fish on. He's got the rest of the fish in a little grocery store coolie bag with little skinny handles that'll be cutting into his hands and shoulders so uh, he's taking it hard for us. But man, I might try and get this stuff up to the ravenous and then come back down and help the cuzzy up the hill. Ravenous is at the top of the hill just way way over there in the distance just next to the sunset on the horizon. 15 minutes, I reckon, 15 minutes. One steep sandy hill to go. Hey. Ravenous, I'm back. complete sick one wow what an adventure Whew. sourcing options those are some beautiful coloured eggs. Those are real eggs. Yeah, yeah put it on the eggs, bro. We mean as on the eggs, I reckon. Ready as. Sure. Just like that. So 
Let's start that, bro. What a fight. <laughs>